Hey everybody, welcome back to TK Tennis. So today we have a review for Diadem Pro X. According to Diadem, this string is used by a lot of college players, and I believe they're taking the same approach that Selenko once did by sponsoring a lot of tennis teams. And according to them, again, many of the college players are choosing their Pro X version. Uh, they also have Solstice, Solstice Power 17 and Flash diadem flash and a couple others and I'll be testing all three of these strings in the next couple weeks so let's jump into the review and talk about what I think is a high octane string in diadem pro X all right so jumping into it let's jump into the control factor so I was using this string for uh, about a week um, splitting between two different rackets and on the control category, the control attribute, it gets an excellent. Like, it's a very firm, stiff string, and typically on the firm strings, you get very good control. I should have an asterisk next to this excellent because there is something to this that I found on some other sort of like these high tensile strings uh, that are really firm is sometimes, I call it premature snapback, that if you're not really committed to your strokes on each and every shot, once in a while, if you're not accelerating heavily through the shot or even decelerating, I feel like the ball will bite into these strings and once in a while, they'll fly on you. But if you're committed to your, all your shots, whether it's slice or topspin, the control is outstanding. Um, I just once in a while, and again, I found this with some of the Toraline strings as well and Restring Zero in particular, once in a while it would just fly on me when I wasn't committed. So that's why it would should get an at an asterisk next to this excellent going to spin potential it gets a very good this is a six-sided poly but when you feel it it's not really particularly sharp edged um, compared to this string right here which is solstice power which is a star shaped six-sided string as well but you can really feel the concave edges and this is a very sharp string so I would anticipate the spin potential with solstice knowing it's also their spin string is going to be more so than with Diadem Pro X. For the most part, when you get to these six-sided and especially eight-sided strings, um, they don't typically have much more grip, at least I don't find so, than a regular round poly. And that was pretty much the case on the spin potential for Pro X. I gave it a very good, um, it gets very good spin, but you don't get anything significant out of it. You don't feel like there's a tremendous amount of bite compared to a round poly. So I pretty much equate it very similar to a round poly. Maybe you get a tiny bit of extra string and a little extra bite, but it's certainly not significant. Going to snapback, um, it also is in between a very good and excellent. This is a really, I would say in the beginning of the string, the snapback is sort of like hyper snapback, like you see in a lot of modern strings. It is a slick coating on these strings. It does snap back very aggressively. And the reason I only gave it a snap back between very good and excellent, or then borderline between very good and excellent, is because when the strings wear after about four or five hours, they will move around a little bit. They will move out of place and they won't snap back quite as aggressively as some other strings when there's some when there's some wear on the strings. So snapback generally is excellent when the strings are fresh and of course they degrade a little bit from there on out. But that's not abnormal. That does happen with most strings. Some may get a little bit better snapback. Uh, and if you follow my string reviews, I don't think this category, I think this is overrated many times. It's sort of hyper snapback and hyper slick coated strings. Are they really that much better than strings that have been around a lot longer that have a more dry coating? I don't actually find it to be a significant difference. Um, so I don't, you know, just because it doesn't have an excellent doesn't mean the string is not as good as a string that might just be very good. Going to power, um, I gave it a normal in, ter in terms of the power category, in terms of most polys. Um, it doesn't have an extreme extra power. It doesn't give you anything for free, with the exception if you're a big hitter. If you're really aggressive, through the hitting zone and you have nice acceleration because the strings are so firm it takes a little bit extra swing speed like a you know high caliber committed player to get the to get the strings to flex and if you do get them to really flex and really pocket then the string does give you something for free so 
a high caliber player will get a little bit extra out of these strings because they can break through the crust on these strings and get a little extra power. But for most people, it's sort of like most polys, they have that power that it will give you and there's no extra power and there's not a loss of power. It gives you what you expect. And again, like most polys, you use polys for control, not necessarily power. Going to durability, I gave it a high. There's not much to talk about here. I broke these strings at about seven at the seven hour mark, which is very typical for a really good poly for my game. So I think the durability was really great. Moving on to tension maintenance, um, it's in between a normal and a high. It has really good tension maintenance. It didn't really start to, it never gets mushy and it never really gets soft, even just before it breaks. It got a little bit flatter. I uh, mean, it didn't have quite as much pop, but it never really felt mushy at all. So I thought the tension maintenance was really, really strong, and that's why I give it in between a normal and a high. And how would you describe these strings in terms of feel? Well, they're crisp, for sure. These are firm, crisp strings. Uh, those are the two attributes or the two adjectives that really stand out the string. Uh, it's an asterisk next to lively and half lively because if you can break through the crust on these strings and really get some acceleration through your swing, it will feel lively as well. However, for those players who can't break through the crust, it may feel a little bit harsh, and that's why it has an asterisk next to harsh. And if you're not hitting it right in the sweet spot, and you're sort of heading it around the edges of the sweet spot, you'll feel that harshness just because these strings are so crisp and firm. All right, so moving on to overall grade. Let's talk about this. I had a, re, uh, a few requests over the past couple months to see if I could grade strings based on level because I've done that in some string reviews in the past and I thought it was a really good idea and I probably should do that on a continual basis. Now, it's harder to grade strings based on particular styles of play. I think that would be a little even more subjective than what string reviews are already. So on the overall grade, I have... I don't have a, a category for beginner because from 2.0 to 3.5, sort of that beginner range, you probably shouldn't be using polys anyways. So there's no rating for a beginner. So in the intermediate range, sort of that 3.5 to 4.0 level, I give it a C. I think these strings are just too firm and too crisp and too much high octane. I mean, you really need to commit to your shots. And I think most players in that intermediate level will find this to be a little bit harsh for them versus any sort of benefits they'll get out of it. Uh, to an advanced player, so that 4.5 to 5.0 range, semi-advanced, advanced light player, it gets an A- minus to a B plus. So depending on your style of play, if you have really free-flowing swings and you're aggressive and committed on every shot, you're probably going to find this to be an A- minus string. Um, if you're not quite as committed on every shot, you think you're going to find it to be a little harsh and firm and maybe like a B plus string. It's a fantastic, but it's a high octane string. That's why I have that listed in the title. Um, and that's why I keep referring it. I would put it some, I would put it in between sort of like Toro line, super Toro and restring zero. It's in that sort of category of strings very much. So maybe right in between those two. Um, and you know, I really like uh, Toro Line Super Toro, and these strings also are really great as well. And for high caliber players, I give it an A, So, and I think it's very obvious. If m many college players are choosing this string from Diadem, and they're using Pro X over Solstice or over Diadem Flash, you can tell that it's clearly made for high caliber players who are committed on every shot, and that's why, and that's why it gets an A in that category. So who is it for? So it's for high caliber players who prefer high octane strings or big hitters who can squeeze the juice out of what the string has to offer. If you like crisp strings but are not high caliber, lower tensions are your friend. And if you are a little off or not attacking your shots, then you'll find some stiffness and harshness on the edges. So would I use it again? Yes, uh, if I'm playing well, or indoors or in the when the climate is really warm when I might get a little bit more flex out of these strings um, it's like super Toro for me I would use the string again but on a regular basis for my game personally I would give this string a B plus for my game in particular while many other players might find this to be an A string so that's it for Diadem Pro X I hope you enjoyed the review 
If you like this content, please hit the subscribe and the like button. And if you have any questions or comments, if you use the string, please leave them in the comments below. And I will see you in the next ace.